Alright, hello. Um, today we're going to learn about law of sines. So, before we do the law of sines, here are some formulas you must know before we do the problems. So, the law of sines says sine of alpha over small a equals sine of beta over small b equals sine of gamma over small c. So, this is just the law of sines, and I'll, we'll go over that when we do the problems. And then for the area of a triangle, this is the area of a triangle. You have three um, three possibilities. So area equals one half of small b small c times sine alpha, or you can do area equals one half times small a times small c times sine of beta, and then area equals one half times small a, small b times sine, sine gamma. This will all make sense when we do the problem, so let's do the first one. Okay, so the problem asks us to solve the triangle when we, we are given three things. Beta equals 34 degrees, gamma equals 64 degrees, and small a equals 5.3. So we're given a angle, I mean this angle, angle, and a side, right? So it's, this will definitely be, so we have a side, angle, angle. So that's what we have. So first step, what I'm going to do is draw the triangle. And yeah, it's important how do you how you draw the triangle because if you draw it differently, you'll probably get a different answer. So also, I know it's on a right triangle. Okay, so I'll call this triangle A, angle A, B, C. So I'll call this triangle A, B, C. So remember the law of sines? It says, um, We'll call this angle alpha, because I got this from the law of sines. And then angle B, we'll call this angle beta. And then we'll call this angle gamma. And basically how I got these were from the law of sines. So, okay, so where we, do you see big B? Now it's the, the opposite of that side, we can call that um, small b, right? And then the same with big A, we call that, we'll call this the opposite of, the angle opposite side of that would be small a, it's always the opposite, so it's not, so angle c, wherever it's opposite, we'll call that small c, small c, let's make this bigger, big c. So, yeah, and all I, I got these all from the law of sines. So, we gotta, um, we gotta find, let's see what we're getting. We know that beta is 34 degrees, right? Gamma is 64 degrees. Now we gotta find alpha, which is really easy, because we all know a triangle adds up to 180. So we're just going to add, I'm just going to add 34 plus 64, and that gives me 98, and we said that triangle equals 180, so I'm going to do 180 minus 98, and that should give you 82 degrees. So gamma alpha is 82 degrees. So we got all our angles, now we got to find our 
side length, our length side, so our small our small a and our small b and our all small c. Um, we all, we are given that small a equals 5.3. Good. So now we got to find small b and small c by using the law of um, sine. So let me put the law of sine really quickly right here. So sine of alpha equals is over small a and then sine of beta small b equals sine of gamma over small c. So, basic, so basically it's always the opposite so wherever you see a sine alpha it's always the small a is always opposite side of the angle so that's how we got a and then beta is opposite of b opposite angle beta is the small b is on the opposite side and then c is opposite side of that so um let's use the law of sine so i'll use sine of 82 so sine of two, sine of 82 is um alpha So according to the law of sine, I have to use the side that's the side that's opposite of this angle. So the opposite of this is um, a, which is 5.3. So I'm going to put 5.3 over 5.3, and then I'm going to equal that to sine of 64 degrees. So I'm going to use this part. You could you could use this part, but it's a, I'm just going to use this one sine of gamma which is 64 degrees over and then we need where's small c we don't know what c is so that's what we're going to find out now we're going to just cross multiply right we know how to cross multiply so this is c times sine of 82 degrees equals and then cross multiply that so that's 5.3 sine of 64. Now let's solve for c so I can divide everything by sine of 82 degrees sine of 82 so this cancels. So now you're left with c equals 5.3 times sine of 64 divided by sine of 82, which is about 4. Point, I did the calculator, so it's 4.810, and then I'm just going to round it to to the ten, nearest tenth. So it's just 4.8. So we know that C equals 4.8. Now let's solve for B. I'll put it, let's go on the right side for more room. So I'm going to solve for B. So I'm going to use sine of 34 divided by, so where is, where did we get 34? So we got sine of beta, so we're going to use this part. So sine of beta, so the opposite side of this angle is we don't know so we'll call that small b equals sine i'm going to use sine of 64 degrees so where do we get 64 from gamma so we're going to use this part so gamma equals um the opposite of this would be c when we know that one so it's 4.8 and then like the last problem, we just cross multiply. So that's 4.8 sine of 34 equals, and then b, small b, times by sine of 64. And then let's solve for small b. So we divide everything by sine of 64.
Okay, so b small b equals if you I did the calculator and it gives me 2.98, and then I'm going to round it to two des I mean to one decimal places, so it's just 3.0. Good, and then let's, what else do, I think we solved for everything, we got everything now. So we know that alpha is 82 degrees, and then small b is approximately 3.0, and then small c is 4.8. So we solved the triangle using the law of sine, and this is a side angle angle. Next problem. So it says solve each triangle with a given, given part. So, so we are given that beta equals 120.7 120 degrees. Gamma equals 13.6 degrees, and small a equals 489.3. So, like last problem, I'm going to draw a triangle. Oops. We'll call this triangle ABC. Here's big A, big B, and big C. This angles alpha, this angles beta, and this angle is gamma because of the law of cosine. So, and then this opposite side is small b, this is small c. And then this is small a. So let's put filling what we have. So we said that small a is 489.3. And we said that gamma is 13.6 degrees. 13.6. And what else? Um, beta is 120.7. So let's find alpha. And that's not hard, right? You just you add these two and then subtract from 180. So we got 120.7 plus 13.6, and that's 134.3. So subtract 180 from 134.3. Equals 45.7. So we know alpha is 45.7 degrees. Good. So now we, um, I'm gonna have to solve everything. So we gotta find small c and small b, and then we gotta um, by using the law of sine. So law of sine is just so it's sine. We put it here, sine of alpha is over small a, sine of beta is over small b, and sine of gamma is over small c. So I will use, okay, so over here, let's, I'll use sine of 45.7. So where is 45.7? It's this one. This looks like a 48, so this is a 45. So we're using alpha, right? So we're going to use this part, sine of alpha over a. So we got to find small a. Do we know what small a? Yes. It's 489.3. Equals, and then I'm going to use sine of 
where do we get 13.6? This is a put a point there. This is we got 13.6. So this is gamma. So we get um it's we're gonna use this part, use this law. So that's over C, and we don't know what C is. Good, because that's what we're gonna solve. So we're gonna cross multiply. So C times sine of 45.7 equals, and then cross multiply here, 489.3 times 489.3 times sine of 13.6. Thirteen point six. Now let's find for let's solve C. So we have C on the left side. So we all we gotta do is divide both sides by sine of forty five point seven. So our C equals. I get. 160.76 so that's about one and for I'm going to round it to one decimal place so that's 160.8 so over here we know that's 160.8 now we got to find small b so I'll put it right here so I'm going to use um, sine of 45.7 and then what do we get 45.7 we got it from alpha so we got to um, find what is our small a we know that one is 489.3 equals sine of, and I'll make this to sine of 120.7. Um, there's a reason why I'm using sine of 127 and then like sine of 13.7 because it has this missing part of, so sine of 127 is over here, so it's missing B, so that's why I chose sine of 127. You kind of just have to like manipulate it to make sure to get your um missing thing. So yeah, like on the DC on the left side, I have um everything is I have nothing is missing, right? I know what sine of alpha, which is forty five point seven, and I know what small a is, which is forty eight nine point three. And then on the right side, I'm missing small b, right? Because that's what we're going to solve. So now we're going to cross multiply. So that's B sine of 45.7 equals um, 489.3 times by sine of 120.7. Now we gotta solve for b, so I'm gonna divide everything, both sides, by sine of 45.7. Sine of 45.7. Good. So now our small b is um I get 587.8. So I'm going to round it to one decimal places, so that's approximately 587.9. 587.9. Good, so we have everything. So we know that alpha is 45.7 degrees, and then small b is 587.9. And small c is 160.8. So these are what we were missing. 
and we solved it. Now let's do another one. So determine the number of triangles with the given parts and solve each triangle. So we got to determine how many triangles there is and and we got to solve it. So we are given gamma equals 99.6, small b equals 10.3, and small c equals 12.4. So first step, I'm going to draw the triangle. It's really bad. Trying to make it look really nice. I'll call this angle ABC. Call this triangle ABC. And this is big A is where we have this called alpha. This is angle beta. This is angle gamma. What are we given? So we said that gamma is 99.6, 99.6, um, this is small b, and that's given 10.3, and small c is right here, and we are given 12.4. So we are missing and then don't forget our small a. So what we gotta find is alpha, and then we gotta find beta, and then we gotta find small a. So, I'm gonna use my law of sine. So I'm gonna use sine of sine of beta. Right here, so that goes with um, small b. We, so small b is 10.3 equals, and then sine, I'm going to use something that it's all given. So we said that sine, we'll use sine of 99.6 divided by, we got from here, so we got, um, so it's the um, opposite side length, so it's, we know it's 12.4. So just if you don't know it, the law of sine, so I'm just right here. So sine of alpha, sine of beta over small b, and sine of gamma is over small c. So that's where I got this. So cross multiply. That's 12.4 sine of beta equals um, 10.3 times sine of sine of 99.6 99.6 now now I'm going to divide everything by 12.4 because I want to get sine of beta Okay, so we get, we're not done yet, we have sine of beta equals 10.3 sine of 99 over 12.4. Okay, so we want to we don't have, we want B beta by itself, right? But we have sine of beta. So remember, we have to multiply everything by the sine inverse. So if you multiply everything right and left by sine and inverse, the left side we get um, just regular beta and then sine of inverse of this whole thing, right? 
that's 10.3 sine of 99.6 divided by 12.4. So when you put this in um, your calculator, make sure it's um, in degree mode. Beta should give you 54.986, and I will just round it to one decimal place. So it's 55, 55.0 degrees. So we could find, so over here it's 55.0. And now we gotta find alpha, which is really easy because all you gotta do is add these two angles and subtract it by 80. So we got, so if we, on the right, we got 55.0 plus 99.6 equals 154.6. Good. Now just do 180, subtract it by 154.6, and that gives you 25.4. So alpha is 25.4 degrees. Okay, so what else were we missing? We're missing, we are just missing, we got to find small a, right? So. Let's do it. So, um, so I'll use sine on on the right. I'll use sine of twenty five point four. So where was twenty five point four? We got it from alpha, and then it's over small a, and then we'll equal that to sine of ninety nine point six. Ninety nine point six over, so 99.6, so we have to put it it's this length, which is C, which is 12.4, cross multiply, and then, um, so We'll divide everything by sine of 99.6. So small a is about, I get 5.394, and I will round it to home. Um, one decimal place, so I'm just going to get 5.4. Good, so this is, and we only have, um, it says determine the number of triangles, I only see one triangle, so, I, so we have one triangle, and then um, this is definitely a side-side angle, side-side angle problem, so we know now, our, we know our alpha, which is 25.4, Our beta is 55.0, and then our small a is 5.4. Good. Okay, let's do some word problems. I mean, let's do some area problems. So we're given, um, find the area of each region. So what I know is this is a quadrilateral. You know how I know it's a quadrilateral? Because when you add all these angles, so 60, 120, 135, 45, it's 360. So over here, we know it's a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. Because it equals to 360 degrees. So I gotta find the area. So if you want to go back, you could um see the um formulas for the areas in the beginning. So first step is I'm going to break this into two. So I'll call this part area one 
and then I'll call this other part area two. Let's see, and then I will, for area one, I will use, I'll call this angle A, angle B, angle C. Um, it doesn't matter where you call, this could be, this could be B and C, but you have to know, yeah, you have to know that if this, this, this angle A is very important. So, I will use, um, for area one, I'll use this formula, one half, what was it, it was, um, one half, hold on, so I'll use this rule, this formula, if you, you can get it back, you to know about if you go in the beginning of the section so one half of BC sine of alpha so a1 equals one half and then our B right this is a small B and then we'll call this small C so our B is um, four and our small c, I mean our small c is 10. And then times it by sine of alpha, which is over here, which is 120. Because remember how I said that you have to know where a is. So sine of 120 degrees. So when you do all the work, area 1 is about oh, 17.32. And if I round it to one decimal place, is about 17.3. Good. So we found area one. Now let's find area two. And then area two, I will call this, where there's 45 degrees, I'm going to call this a, big A. And then and it doesn't matter if I call this B or C, you still get um, the same answers. So I'm going to use this this formula for area two. So area two is one half, and we know that our B and C is um okay. So let's do our sine alpha first. So sine our alpha sine alpha is where A is, so it's forty five degrees. Our B could be times 2 square root of 6, and then times it by 12 plus 2 square root of 3. So if I did all the work, A2 equals 26.78. And then if I round it to one decimal places, it's 26.8. So to find, to find the area of this region, we need to find its area. So we got to find area one plus area two. So it's um that's twenty six point eight plus seventeen point three, and that gives us forty four point one. Okay, so that's one answer. The book gives us um. 22 times square root of 3 plus 6. They equal the same thing. If you do the um, put in a calculator, they're the same thing. So either of these answers are correct. Yeah, you could choose one. Okay, and then the last one will be a word problem. So it says here, the angle of elevation on the top of a water tower from point A on the ground is nine is 19.9 degrees. From point B, 50 feet closer to the tower, the angle of elevation is 21.8 degrees. What is the height of the tower? So basically, we got to find y. That's what we want to do. So and then we're gonna find we 
find that, we got to use the law of sine. So we got to use the law of sine. So um, from this triangle right here, so we have a 90 degree, 218 degree, and then So we, this is angle B. Okay, so we'll call this, this right angle, we'll call this angle A. Um, A, B. So um, if this is 90, this is 218. Um, what angle is this? You just have to add 90 plus, this is a 21.8, not 218, sorry. So this is 90 plus 21.8. So that should give you, um, Uh, one 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 point eight, and then if you do one eighty minus one one point eight, you get actually, sorry. Hold on, that's not, that's not how you do it. Erase that. We still got to use a law of sine. First off, um, let's focus on uh, this, not this other triangle, right? Let's focus on this. So we'll, we'll use a law of sine for this one. So I'm going to say sine of 19.9 degrees right here 19.9 9 degrees is over small a so here's we'll call this um we'll call this alpha and then we'll equal that to sine of 1.9. Where's 1.9? Right here. Sine of 1.9. And that's over 50. It's always the opposite side of this. So we got this angle and then it's always the opposite side. So that's how we got 50. And then let's cross multiply. So that's... 50 sine 19.9 degrees equals um, alpha sine of 1.9. Let's solve for um, alpha. So we'll divide everything by sine of Cancel so alpha is um is about five hundred and thirteen point three feet. Okay, so now um now we're gonna use the right triangle, so we're gonna use this triangle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use sine. of 21.8 right here equals now I'm not going to use the law of sine I'm going to use the SOHCAHTOA thing remember SOHCAHTOA so 
here's sine, so we got to use the opposite over hypotenuse. So here's 21.8, so where's the opposite? It's this one, right? This is the opposite, which is y. And divided by the um, hypotenuse, which is, um, we said that alpha is 513.3, right? 513.3. So it's under 51.3. So yeah, basically, so let me review this. So I did sine of 21.8, and then I did not use the law of sine. I just use a Sokotoa thing. So opposite is y over hypotenuse, which is this, which is 51.3. And then we can just cross multiply. So y equals 513.3 sine of 21.8. And then y should is about approximately 190.6, but I'm going to round it to whole numbers, so it's just 191. So our y equals 191 feet. And yep, that's it for this section.